Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications sent to you when new videos come out. Don't speak English? Well, there's an option for you too. Scroll down and click on CC to turn on subtitles. Then click on the gear icon next to it. Scroll down to subtitles and click on auto translate. And as you can see, a list of multiple languages will show up. Here in this example, I've chosen Spanish. So no matter what language you speak, you'll be able to watch and enjoy my videos. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing today? I hope you're having a great day. And welcome to yet another video tutorial. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I truly do appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert a 3DS Citra playable file into a CIA and then use it on your custom firmware 3DS. I'm going to show you the tools you need in order to convert and play this on a custom firmware 3DS. Now this process works only with a custom firmware 3DS. It won't work with a regular 3DS. And what this means is your 3DS must have custom firmware installed on it. In the future, possibly soon, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial showing you how to install custom firmware on some different versions, but I gotta get over to that. I've had some requests to do and requests from people showing you how to do stuff like this. So I've got to get around to all that stuff. But in the meantime, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your 3DS Citra playable file into a CIA and load it onto your 3DS and get it playing on your 3DS and what you need in order to do that. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I have a little bonus for non 3DS custom firmware users. So stick around, stay tuned for that. A little bit more added info into this video for people who are asking questions about 3DS, CIAs, etc. Okay guys, sit back and relax. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the download links that are left in the description. This will lead you to a download for the 3DS to CIA converter, which will do both 3DS to CIA conversion and CIA to 3DS conversion. So download that first because you'll be needing that. Once you download it, put it on a desktop or put it in the documents or wherever you can find it and then open it. When you open it, you'll see something like this. You'll see these files here besides the PKSM Citra emulator file. This is the file I'm going to be using in order to show you guys how to convert a 3DS Citra emulator file back into a 3DS CIA. Now the only reason I'm using PKSM is because it's a little quicker to install when I actually load it up on to the 3DS. This is the only reason that I'm using it. So in an actual example, you guys would be using an actual game and putting it on your 3DS. You could also use PKSM or whatever you want to put on there, but I'm just using this because of that. So it could be faster for you guys showing you how to do it. Also faster for me. So, okay. The first thing you want to do is take whatever game that you want to convert over into a CIA and place it within the contents of the converter folder. And once you place it in there, you'll see it like this. So after you've placed your game into the converter folder, what you want to do is highlight the full name of whatever game that you're using and copy it. Everything. Copy everything. And once you've done that, you can then open the program. Okay. 
You open the program by clicking on this little icon here. Once you open the converter, you'll get a window like this. You're going to hit three and hit enter, and you're going to hit three again and hit enter. This will place you within the 3DS to CIA options. So hit three, press enter, then hit three again and enter once more. Once you get to this window, remember the name that you copied. You're going to paste that right here. So just hit control V or you can just right click and click paste. That works also. Once you place the name of the game that you want to convert into a CIA, hit enter and then it'll start converting. You'll get an option that asks you if you want to spoof the software. You're going to hit the letter N and hit enter. Once it's finished, it'll say press any key to continue. It's pretty much done. The only reason why mine is quicker and finished like this is because I'm using PKSM, but yours may take longer. But just keep in mind when you're converting, try not to touch anything and wait for it to finish because the 3DS to CIA converter takes a major huge amount of resources when converting anything. So it's best just not to touch anything when it's converting and come back when it's finished and then you can continue with what you were doing after it's converting. So I just wanted to add and point that out for users who are saying they are getting their computers freezing up when they use this program. This is the reason why. So keep this in mind when using it. Don't touch anything until it's finished. OK, so once it's done, you can hit any key and then you can close this window out. So once you're finished, as you can see, you will get a PKSM. CIA or whatever game you're using you'll get a CIA of that as you can see here I have a PKSM CIA so now we're gonna take our new CIA that we just converted from our 3ds Citra playable file and place it onto our custom firmware 3ds you will need something like a USB to SD converter in order to place files from your computer and place it onto your SD card and then back onto your 3ds so I've also left links in the description for USB SD converter. You can click the links in the description if you don't have it. They're pretty cheap and you can get them on Amazon. I've left the link in the description for one that I have and you may be able to find some extra options too, but this one's pretty cool and it works really well. The transfer speed is pretty quick and it also is made pretty nicely too. So I've left the link in the description for you guys if you don't have a USB to SD converter so you can place your files onto your 3DS. So now we're gonna place our file onto our 3DS. So the first thing you need to do is remove your SD card from your 3DS and place it into the converter and then place it into your computer. Once you do that, you'll get a window like this. You'll see some files within your 3DS SD card. And if you have custom firmware, which is the only way that this will work, you'll see all these type of files. I don't know what order you guys will have your things in, but you'll see something like this. But you'll need to place your CIA into your folder. Now I've categorized my folder. So I have a folder called CIAs. If you have a folder where you placed your CIAs, then that's where you will put this, but you will need to put this in a place where you're going to be able to find it when you go into your file in order to install this onto your 3ds. So you'll need to make sure that you know where you've located your CIAs, then place your newly converted CIA within the 3ds file folders. So I'm going to place my file into my 3ds folder. As you can see, I've created a folder called CIAs and that's where I put my CIAs. I also categorize them there. Let's open the folder and place the file within the folder. And as you see here, I've placed my PKSM CIA within the 3ds folder. So once it's there, you're pretty much finished. You can inject your SD card or remove it from your computer. You're pretty much done here. The only thing you'll need to do is place your SD card back into your 3DS system. So once you've reinserted your SD card back into your 3DS or 2DS console, as you can see here, I have a 2DS. But as long as you have within the lineup of the 3DS family, you're fine. You want to power it on. And once you power it on, you're going to head over to FBI. And if you don't have FBI, I'll leave a link for it in the description because you'll need this to install your CIAs. So 
make sure you have FBI before trying to install anything because you're not going to be able to do it unless you have FBI. But once again, I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys who do not have FBI and want to install it on to your custom firmware 3DS. Okay, so if you already have FBI, we can continue. You just open it up. Okay, and then you'll click on SD here at the top. And then you'll find the folder where you placed your CIA. For me, I placed it in the CIA's folder and the tools. And as you can see here, there's my PKSM and it's right here. So I want to install it, so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on install CIA. And I'll say yes. And as you can see, it will take a little bit of time. Now, when installing a game, it'll take much longer. The only reason why I use PKSM because it's quick and I can just show you guys how to install it. But anyway, once it's finished, you're done. Hit the A button, hit start, hit back first, then hit start. And this will exit your FBI. In some instances, you may have to restart your 3DS or 2DS. And as you can see here, I have PKSM now installed on my 3DS. When you first get a new CIA on your 3DS, it'll be gift wrapped, so you'll have to open it. And so there you go, you're all set. You now have any game that you formerly had on your Citra emulator and converted it into a CIA and are now playing it on a physical 3DS with custom firmware. So now for that bonus that I promised at the beginning of this video. I have some bonus information for those of you who have been asking me where to get legitimate CIAs. And unfortunately, to tell you the truth, there's not too many places where you can. Although, there are places that claim to offer legitimate CIAs that work and can be converted into a playable Citra 3DS file, these claims clearly aren't true. But, if you have custom firmware on your 3DS, you can install the CIA and it should work. Most of them normally do. I think these websites are just for people who have 3DSs with custom firmware. But to set an example and to show you guys that these CIAs or converted CIAs that have been already converted and placed into a 3DS Citra playable file don't work, I'm going to show you some examples so that you guys don't have to come here and try to install these and be disappointed at the end of the day. Just showing you that they don't work. So here I am over at Portal Robots and I search for Kirby Planet Robo. So as you can see here, I've searched for Kirby Planet Robo. I've already went through the process and I already have it. So once you have it, you're pretty much going to go over and you're going to open it up. By the way, if you're using Portal you need a program called and what it is is software used to download. I don't recommend using this, but I'm just showing you this for educational purposes and so that you guys don't have to come here. Don't download these, don't install these, just get them from your cartridge. That's the best way you can do it. If you have God Mode 9, use your cartridge and you can extract a legitimate CIA from your cartridge each and every time. So I'm trying to help you guys out here. You guys do not want to be going to these websites because also you can get a major huge virus as well. So anyways, once you have it, you want to open it up. So let's go over to the folder and open it up, see what we got. So as you can see here, you'll have the game that you just downloaded. but we're going to extract it and we're going to find out if it converts or not or if it's already converted and we'll see if it plays on the Citra emulator. So let's extract it. Okay, and as you can see it came out as a 3DS Citra playable file. 
already. So let's just double click it and see if it plays. As you can see, I'm getting an error message that says, the game that you're trying to play needs to be decrypted. And the only way you can do this is if you have custom firmware anyways. So it's just not even worth the download. It's not even worth the virus risk. But if you're gonna do it, you do it at your own risk. I've added this information for your own educational purposes, just to show you that they don't work. Now you may find some that do work, but it's very rare and very hard to find some that do, especially on these kind of shady websites. So if you have custom firmware and you have a 3DS with this software, you can then install a CIA and this is the best way to get you up and running. But once again, as I recommend it, you should use physical cartridges if you're trying to get legitimate CIAs. Use God Mode 9 and extract your CIA from your legitimate cartridge. This is the best way to ensure that you will always get a legitimate CIA that will work regardless of what you do. It will convert, it'll convert back into a CIA, it'll install onto your custom firmware 3DS. You won't have any problems ever again. You can convert it back from a CIA to a playable Citra file or whatever. You won't have any issues like this. You won't get these errors and you won't come across these issues. And when downloading from these sites, you won't risk getting a virus as well. These websites are shady, so I'm just putting this information in here for you guys so that you guys can avoid going to these websites and downloading these games that are not recommended to download. So I'm trying to help you guys out out there who are looking for legitimate CIAs and looking for games to play on your Citra emulator. The best way to do that, once again, is if you have a physical cartridge and custom firmware on your 3DS. Pretty soon I'm going to be showing you guys how to install custom firmware on a 3DS so you guys can stay tuned for that at some point in the future. I will get around to it. I'm just pretty busy but anyway that's pretty much going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you to those of you who stuck around. I know this video was a bit long but I need to add this information because I was getting requests from people asking me where to get legitimate CIAs and quite frankly there isn't really many places you can get them online. The best way is what I you know said before that's that's how you do it so I thought I'd add this information you know maybe these sites are good for people who have custom firmware but even then you can risk getting viruses on your actual 3DS in your software and you don't want to risk doing that. So I added this information. I know this video was a bit long, but thank you to you guys who stuck around and watched the entire video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below in the comment section. Also, make sure to hit the like button. I wanna try and get 50 likes for this video. If this video can hit 50 likes, that'd be really great and really awesome as well. Thank you guys in advance. Well, anyways guys, I'll see you guys next time. Now you can play games that you converted from a Citra playable file into a CIA that you can now play on your 3DS. Take care guys. See you guys next time. Later. Hey guys, it's me, K7. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and hit the notification bell for more videos like these. Okay guys, I'll see you guys next time. Later.